how are you mad because I want this for my life? How are you upset because I want to wait to have kids? How are you upset because I want to provide? How are you upset because I don't eat that food? How are you upset because... I'm not hanging over there. Like, how are you upset? How do I can teach finesse and I'm about my check? You better come correct. Hey, y'all, I'm back with another message. And today I want to talk about knowing your worth and how people will be mad at you for knowing your worth. Like, they really would be mad at you for knowing your worth. I always talk about what kind of life I'm aiming for. I always talk about, um, you know, how the structure of my life is going to be if I get a family, how I want business to go for me, what I want. And people really have negative things to say. And it's like, how are you mad because I want this for my life? How are you upset because I want to wait to have kids? How are you upset because I want to provide? How are you upset because... I don't eat that food. How are you upset because I'm not hanging over there? Like, how are you upset? How does my choices in life affect you? They do not. And, y'all, I really stop. Like I said, I stop going back and forth with people because it's like these are people that don't want what's best for their life. So how do you expect them to want what's best for you? They are not going to. So it's like know your worth. And then when you start to hold yourself up to a certain status, people are really upset because they didn't have the strength to wait like you did. They didn't have the strength or they didn't have the knowledge to understand that they cheating themselves. That That's really what it is, that they played the game wrong. So now they're looking at you a certain way because right now you win. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like when you get around them type of people, don't pay them no man. Like, I used to... Well, I am. I'm a very vocal person. So, when people... People always, like, ask me what I think because they know, like, nine times out of ten, my thoughts or what I got to say is going against the grain. But now, like, to think, to sit there and argue with a fool about... And then, again, this is what I want. So, it's like, only I know what I want. So, what I'm speaking is facts. You can say, oh, I think you should. I think it don't matter what you think. It don't matter what they think. Y'all know one thing about me. I never really ask people what they think about something that I should be doing. Do y'all know how many people I used to sit on the phone and they used to, even girls used to ask me, you think I should have sex with him? And I'm thinking in my head, like. How are you asking me that? This is how unsure some people are about their life. You think I should go over there? No. My answer, no. Every time somebody asks me, no. No. Because clearly you're not thinking. Like, you're not thinking. So, no, I don't think you should go over there. And it's like, we as people, we allow people to have so much say-so in what we do with ourselves, the choices that we make. And we don't go to God. We don't go to source. Like, we go to people. Oh, we care what our mother thinks. Oh, we care what our sister thinks. Oh, we listen to our friend. But you got to look at these people's life. And that's why I always tell people, nobody that I know lived the life that I want to live. So, I had to take my own route. I had to go figure out the knowledge for myself. Like, I had to go find things out for myself. Like I said, people will say, try to make you feel bad about knowing what you can get, knowing your worth. I deserve the best i do i really really do i deserve the best or people use or people will tell me oh you got this entitled attitude da, 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 da. that don't even bother me no more the work that i put into myself i am entitled to certain things i am i am and i don't need you to tell me that i'm not or that i you don't like people that feel in i don't like people that feel entitled this and that okay well I didn't I didn't approach you. I didn't I didn't ask you what you thought. So it was like if you don't like that, that's not my problem. Like I said, people would really be upset with you for knowing your worth. Like some things that I feel like if you put in enough work, God gonna grant it for you. If you put in enough work, you are entitled. You are entitled. If you put in enough work, you are entitled. If you put in enough work for something that does belong to you. 
if you worked for somebody, you're entitled to money. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you have a child with this woman, you're entitled to see your baby. Y'all don't even know what y'all be entitled to. But y'all, 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 y'all mad at me. Cause I I know I know what I'm entitled to. I know my worth. I know what I put out there. I know what I give. And I know what I'm sh- should be receiving. So anytime I'm getting that ass in other stick from anybody, I ain't hurt nobody but myself. Start knowing what you entitled to. Y'all, and I'm only saying this because I'm a woman, but just get what I'm saying. Go on with this. Me and I tell, oh, you feel, I feel, you feel like you entitled. I'm entitled to take you out. Um, if you know that you want to date a man that go on dates, that's what you're entitled to. And if he don't want to date you. I mean, if you don't want it, right, if you don't want to date you, then get rid of him. You are entitled to that. Y'all, again, know y'all worth quit letting people have so much say-so over your life. And I know people hate to see me coming. They really do, because, baby, if I engage in a conversation, I ain't going to go back and forth with you. I'm, I, this is, I am entitled, and I don't care who like it. Nine times out of ten, the men who be speaking like that, them always the ones that want to double back to me. I don't even date, but I date you. A guy told me he think dating is a scam, but then called me back that night talking about, can I can I take you on a date? So you can say I scammed you, brother. I don't think so. That man never heard from me again, just cause you said something like that. If you don't date, baby, and I'm entitled to a date. If we are dating, I'm entitled to a date. What you think I'm about? You just about to sit in my face all day? No. For sure you're not. But that's me. So again, y'all gotta start knowing y'all worth, knowing what y'all want, and standing on it. Standing on it. If you know that you want somebody that talk on the phone, and then the guy say he ain't a phone type of guy, <laughs> you entitled to somebody that speak on that phone. Every guy that told me he ain't a phone type of guy, guess what? He became one. Like, Again, when y'all know what y'all entitled to, y'all don't go back and forth with people. I know what I'm entitled to. And I get it every time. And if I don't get it from you, I'm going to get it from somewhere else. So, yeah. Again, know y'all worth. Know what y'all entitled to. Believe me, you can get it. It's out here.